What's up everybody? It's Scott from Ultimate.com and it's that time again. Time for... The Mail! That's right. Time for some more mail. The Mail! And uh, this mail is brought to you in part by Captain Howdy. SMF Captain Howdy. The VC's biggest kiss collector. Gotta wear my rock and roll over shirt just for you. And uh, yeah, I don't have any idea what's in this box package. Um, so I'm just gonna rip right into it right now. Got my handy dandy knife. And uh, John did tell me to look underneath the envelope that had my name on it. So uh, I'm gonna do that before I open the, bu pop the, the box and see what's under there. And we're working on that now. <laughs> right on. So what we have here is a KISS Army sticker with the West German uh, KISS logo as well as a KISS vinyl sticker. Those are cool. Alright. <laughs> these are really cool. John, John actually made these as part of a personal box set that he is not selling or giving away or anything else. but. Um, he actually had obviously made an extra sticker for me, which is very cool. Um, the original sticker that looked like that, um, with the original logos on them, appeared in the um, uh, originals box set. Alright, so if I can just find where the tape is to get this thing on tape here. I'm, this is uh, definitely some uh, heavy duty taping here, John. All right, what have we got here? There's a letter, which I can't read because I don't have on my spectacles. Right on. Letter, <laughs> sorry. Should have waited and read that afterwards, but there is a bunch of vinyl in here. <laughs> And this is awesome. And this is awesome. Coney Hatch. This is, uh, speaking <laughs> glasses. Um, this is the Coney, one Coney Hatch album I'm missing in my collection. And this is awesome. Coney Hatch. Uh, Canadian hard rock. I always thought of him as a heavy metal band. I've seen him call both regardless. Coney Hatch. I dig him a lot. What else we got here? This looks really cool, but I can't tell what it is. Metal Wars. This is a Japanese um, pressing of Metal Wars. I don't know what this is. I'm gonna I'm gonna take it apart so I can see. Okay, this is a compilation with a uh, Great White Wasps, Queensryche, Icon, April Wine, Helix, and Rail. <laughs> That's awesome. Love metal compilations, and this is a uh, obviously a Japanese pressing. There's the OBI slip there, and uh, the. Um, little insert and this is on the capital label Cody Hatch on here see I was gonna say Cody Hatch on there is a C I told you they're metal <laughs> stay oh, oh this is cool oh and see the autographs this is um Trooper Hot Shots and Trooper is a Canadian band that I've been getting into a lot recently um, I think it was uh, Greeno who actually originally turned me on to, on the Trooper, sent me, uh, I think it was their first album, and uh, really dug that one. So then I uh, found Trooper for the Show, dug that one, and been picking up Trooper albums everywhere when I could find them. So, uh, oh, that's really cool. It's a gatefold looking at it, with the uh, bullet holes through the. <laughs> this thing's awesome. And it is autographed, and I'm sure, I think in a letter he told me who it was autographed by. I will, uh, I'll, I'll put down here who it's autographed by, so I don't have to read the letter again in front of you guys on, on camera. These are, these are really cool. <laughs> Bob and Doug McKenzie. Good day, you holders. Good day, you holders. <laughs> these are, this is awesome. I remember, uh, back in, uh, when I lived in, uh, East Coast on uh, 
WYSP and WMMR, those two rock radio stations would play these things all the time. <laughs> this is awesome. I haven't heard this in decades, so I'm looking forward to checking that out. And this is just freaking spectacular. Wow. Okay, well, first of all, here's a, a Helix ticket stub, which will be going right into my scrapbook, because I have a scrapbook full of, you know, geeky metal stuff. But this is... I'm going to just slide this back in here so I can show it to you guys. One of the coolest Canadian pressings ever. Ah, it's not going in very easy. Ah, well, forget it. Silver edition of Triumph's Rock and Roll Machine. And this thing is pristine condition. Um, I've, I've never seen one in person. I've seen other people have them, and usually the silver is all coming off of them. I'm not sure how it works, but I know you're not supposed to touch this thing ever. Um, you can play it, you put it on a turntable, but you can't touch it. For whatever reason, the silver comes off on your fingers, so usually these things are pretty, you know, tore up. This one is dead mint. I mean, there's just, it's just perfect. So yeah, this is real silver vinyl. Um, and I, I received, a, I bought a Metallica, I can't remember which album it was now, but it was, uh, they said it was silver vinyl, but it was basically gray. That's silver. This is just badass. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So that's some uh, little VCLT package that came in the mail from, um, from John, who is SMF Captain Howdy, who, like I said, is the biggest kiss collector in the VC. Um, yeah. Check his stuff out. Um, I will put a link below to his channel. I'm sure if you guys are subscribed to me, you love his channel. He has, like I said, there, he, there's nobody I know of who has more kiss than he has. So, um, uh, yeah, rock and roll all night. So that's it. Um, John, as always, you will uh, really, really dig this package. I'm kind of blown away by it. Um, um, it's just awesome, man. I uh, really appreciate it, dude. You rule. That's it for this edition of The Mail. God bless. Stay strong. Okay, so first of all, I missed something in this envelope that I didn't see until I started cleaning up the mess I made throwing the box around. Um, but I also wanted to show this again because this is just too badass. Um, this Triumph record, I got it into the sleeve and just look how beautiful that is, man. That is just awesome. But um, what I didn't see was a little piece of paper, which I've since shredded, <laughs> that said, open me. And uh, inside there was a, a couple of little gift cards from a local store in, in, um, out in, uh, called Tim Hortons out in uh, Canada. But they're, they have some NHL related stuff. But the reason I really had to turn this video back on and show it again is because there was also, uh, anybody who knows me knows I also collect signature guitar picks and Great White, Mark Kendall, guitar pick. And I wish I would have caught this on, I wish I would have caught this on film, but I didn't see, see it in there until afterwards. But Trooper. Brian Smith and this is awesome and Blando. So I have to say thanks all over again, John. <laughs> so uh, yeah, dude, you rule. I, you know, you just you spoil me, and um, there's no reason for it. But I definitely appreciate it, man. Talk to you later. God bless. Stay strong.